Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to give you a live walkthrough of Blocktech Deuce NFT marketplace development solution. It's for entrepreneurs who are looking forward to create their own branded NFT marketplace, just like Crypto.com, OpenSea, or Binance. Here, I'll be showing you the NFT marketplace website. and the admin panel. Basically, I'll show you everything like how an end user can explore and buy an NFT from different NFT solutions or collections, how as an artist or designer you can create or mint the NFT, and lastly, how as admin you can view everything happening through the admin panel. So let's begin one by one. So let's first begin with the live demonstration of the NFT marketplace website. So at the top, you can see this is the logo of this NFT marketplace. Here you can see the home section, the marketplace section and the activity section. In the NFT section, you can view all the transactions or the NFT buy and transfers that have happened or are currently happening on this marketplace. So you can view this is the transfer that has happened most recently. This is the price for which this NFT was brought. This is the NFT owner who has sold his NFT. This is the person who has purchased it and you can see the creation date. So now let's come to the home section. So first of all, uh, to buy or purchase any F NFT on this platform, you will have to integrate this platform with your crypto wallet. So this platform currently is being used with Metamask wallet. So first of all, you will have to integrate your Metamask wallet. So I already have integrated my Metamask wallet. So you can see this is my current balance and if you want to see how to link metamask to this marketplace so i'll be uploading a detailed video on the same shortly so now let's see how as a user you can purchase or buy any nft on this marketplace so first of all you get two options from the explore option or the explore button you can view or simply buy any nft and if you are a creator or designer who wants to sell his nft on this marketplace so you can choose the create button then you can see the trending section in which you can view all the nfts that are live on the platform you can either buy them or you can just simply view them so this is the price of this nft and this is the one that has been created most recently if you will click on view all you can view these nfts on based on different filters like you can view the most recently added nfts then the nfts with most number of views with most number of likes and the nfts on auction then you can filter the results based on the pricing then you can filter the results based on the collections or if you already know any collection and if you want to see any nft that has been added recently to it you can just go to the collection and lastly if you want to filter the results depending on the nft category you can view this from the, uh, you can view the same from the category section now let's see how as a user you can purchase any nft so let's say if you want to purchase this uh, red guitar over here so just simply click on this same so now you can view this is the current owner of this nft this is the total number of views this nft has been viewed till now this is the current pricing of the nft this is the pricing history like this is uh, you can view the created date of the nft the price for it, which is it being sold then you can read the description of the nft you can view the view more details about the collection to which the nft belongs to then you can view the additional details such as the contract address of the nft token blockchain technology it is built on so below the details you can check out the trade history of this nft and under that you can view more F nfts that belong to this particular collection so let's uh, now you get two options of purchasing this nft you can either buy it at this price that is 0.002 ethereum and if you want to bargain or make any alternative offer to the seller of the NFT, you can just make offer. You can enter the desired pricing at you, which you are willing to pay. And then you can make the offer and then it will depend on the seller that whether he wants to sell his NFT at that price or not. So let's say if you are ready to buy it at this price only. So just simply click on buy now. So you can see as MetaMask is already integrated. So it will take you the MetaMask wallet interface. 
so you can see this is the estimated gas fee you will have to pay for the transaction of the nft transfer so when you will click on confirm so you can see us uh, it is asking you that you are sending 0.002 ethereum to the owner of the nft and this is the total amount that you have to pay and when you will confirm so you can see the nft has been transferred successfully so now you can see this is the current owner of this nft this is the creation date or the date on which this nft was purchased at this particular price and the train in the trade history you can confirm the same now let's move to the my profile section of this particular person and in the collected section you can see this is the nft that the person has just recently purchased and it has been added to his collections so likewise if you want to buy any nft for later and if you want to you know just keep it saved in your wish list you can simply click on the heart button and the product will be added to your wish list you can see this has moved to your wish list and if a person wants to see all the activities he has been indulged during the nft transactions they can view it in the activity section and uh, if he has made any existing order for buying an nft that can be viewed through the offer section so this is how this is the entire journey of how a user can purchase an nft on this marketplace so let's say if you are a creator designer and you are fond of creating nfts and want to sell on this particular platform you will have to click on the create button so you can see there are no existing nfts that have been created by this particular user that is sophie emma so in order to create an nft you will first have to create your collection so let's first create a collection so you can enter your collection name so you can enter your collection name that is you can keep it at rare land so you can enter the royalty percentage that you want to keep as the owner of this nft so let's say i keep it as 10 then you can enter the description of the nft you can enter any description so i have already written the same i'll just click on copy and i'll paste it over here so you can assign the logo to your nft with the logo likewise you can select the banner for your nft collection so after filling in all the attributes you just have to click on the create button now it will again take you to the metamask to complete the to uh, you know pay the transaction or the gas fees so when you will click on confirm So the transaction has been confirmed, and you can view or confirm the same from EtherScan, that is a renowned block explorer and analytics platform for Ethereum. So after confirming, you can see the collection has been updated successfully on this platform, and you can view this. These are all the attributes or the information that I have recently filled. for creating this nft collection this is the description this is the banner and this is the you know the background of this nft so you can see there are no recent nfts in this particular collection so in order to add an nft that you want to sell on this platform you can click on add item So now let's say if you want to add any mint any NFT and add to this collection and want to sell on this marketplace, so you just have to go on the settings button and you have to click on the add item button. Now you can enter the name of the NFT you are selling. You can assign the NFT to any particular category. then you can enter any short description
then you can enter the desired price for which you want to sell the nft let's enter 0.001 for now so you can enter or you can also enter any external link that suppose if you want to uh, send the person who is interested in buying this nft your, to your website you can enter the external link over here so in the external link suppose if you want to send a person who is willing to purchase your nft and you want to refer him to your website to explore more collections from you you can enter the external link over here then you can you select the item thumbnail and the item media so let's select the media likewise you can select the thumbnail of your nft so if we want to enter any properties or textual traits that show up as rectangles so uh, you know suppose if you want to simply if you want to add any variants like color or you know the size variant you can enter it from here like select the property type and enter the property name let's say yeah. i enter red and yes type then you can enter the levels or the numerical traits that show that will show up as a progress bar and then you can enter any number of stats or the numerical traits that will appear as a number or on your nft so you can select whether you want to show this media for all and click on save so you can see this nft has been minted you can view the details by clicking on the same so in the properties you can see this is the property we have recently added then you can the person can view the more detail about the nft collection that you have created going below the person can view the details such as the contract address the token the blockchain so this particular nft contract is built using the erc721 under that you can believe, uh, view the trade history so currently you cannot view the same because no trade has been created right now and if you add more nfts to your particular connection so the user can view all the nfts that you have added in this collection so now if you go to your my collection section so you can see your, this is your collection and this is the nft that you have created We have already added the NFT that we want to sell on using this particular collection. So you have three options uh, that you can either edit. Let's say if you want to make any changes to all the details that you have entered. So you can do it from the here before making the NFT live. So remember that being built on blockchain technology, you can only edit it before the NFT is being published. After it has been published on the platform, you cannot make any changes to the same. So you can either delete your NFT and if all set, you can simply click on publish and the NFT would be made live on the marketplace. So to make live again, you will have to pay some transaction gas fees. You can see the item has been published successfully and the transaction has been confirmed. Now you can see on the main NFT marketplace that this particular NFT is available for the sale at this particular price. So if a new user logs into the marketplace, the first thing he will be seeing in the collections is this particular NFT that we have created right now. And if he's interested in buying the same, so he can view the owner name the pricing, the date of creation or the date on which the NFT is minted on. Then he can make any offer, any contrary offer to this particular price. And you can view all the details such as property, the, uh, more details about the NFT collection, any other details such as contract, address, token, or blockchain. Then you can view the trade history. So this is how as an artist or designer, you can mint any NFT on this particular platform 
so uh, till now i have shown you how as an user you can buy an existing nft on this marketplace and how as an artist or creator you can mint and sell your nft on this marketplace and now take you to the most important section that is the art panel through which you can view and control most of the things that happens on this nft marketplace so this is the art panel which through which you can you know view all the transactions or all the you know uh, nft creations or deletions happening on this nft marketplace so first of all you can view the user section in which you can view the user name the first name and last name of the user the their email their current status and so these are all the users that have created or you know or logged in to the nft marketplace and they are currently buying selling or investing in nfts so as the admin you have the access to edit the user profile so you can update the username their email their first name last name you can update their password most importantly you have the access to you know change the status of the user so if you will uh, change the status of any user from active to inactive the user cannot perform any further transactions till you enable the live status again of the user now move, let's move on to the collection where you can view all the connection nft collections that are currently live on the nft marketplace so this is the most recent collection that we have just created through the demo the description of the uh, collection the banner the percentage or uh, the royalties and you can also view this in detail and from here itself you can view, uh, go to the collection list and view more nfts that are being added to this particular collection in the item section you can view the different nfts that have been minted to different nft collections already live on the nft marketplace in the category section you can view the different categories the nft categories that are live so as the admin you only you can add any new nft category so if let's say if you want to add any new category so you will have to click on the add category button then you can enter the category name so let's say uh, racing cars and then you can uh, upload the category image and simply click on create and this and after you will do the same the category will be appearing over here and in the activity section you can view all the activities happening on your nft marketplace like this is the current activity that uh, this nft has been minted at this particular price from this particular person this is the transaction hash and this is the date of nft creation then you can view this is the transfer of any nft from this owner to this particular person so as admin you can view you get a 360 degree view of all the transactions or uh, events that are happening on your nft marketplace now let's come to the offer section where you can view the different offers made by the uh, purchasers to the nft sellers like you can see this is the price this uh, particular person has uh, offered to this uh, user for purchasing this nft and on this particular date so you can view all the offers being made on the platform and from the setting section you can you know update the admin commission so this uh, this is the commission that being an admin you will get on the on all the nft uh, transactions that will be made on the platform so this is how the nft marketplace development solution works so if you have any doubts related to the same you can reach out to us through the comment section below thank you